Hey everybody, Brett Tadlock, your TN artist. Uh, just wanted to jump in here real quick since Rebel Pro 8 has finally released its full version. I wanted to kind of go over some questions I'm getting about the brushes. So we're going to import some in. Let's see what happens because I actually just now installed uh, the full version of 8. I want to see from a clean slate what happens. If there's any, if there are any issues, then just try and help troubleshoot it. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to go to the oil acrylics first. And, you know, I'm going to uncheck all of these and collapse all of the groups like that. So all seven are hidden. And then I'm going to add a group of my brushes. And that leaves that there because it has to have at least one selected. Okay. So the only one that is showing is my brushes. All right. So now what I want to do is go to here, go to import brush preset. And that's going to bring up Rebel's uh, stuff over here. I have all mine saved over here in an assets folder. And I'm just going to go with this first set here of this 9-8 brushes. And there's a reason I'm doing this. You're about to see why. Some of these are watercolor brushes. Some of these are cloud brushes, you know, uh, acrylic brushes, oil brushes, and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Control A, select all of them, and I'm going to tell it open. So now I get this. Do I want to take the ones that are watercolors and have them be imported into here, which is the current tool? Or do I want to click Preset Tool and have it go to the watercolor that I want, that I set it up for? I think it's interesting, especially when you get a new version of uh, Rebel, to change them around. You know, because originally I, I made these for the brushes that they're made for, but you can get some really interesting effects by moving that brush preset to another one. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put this in the current tool, even though it's a watercolor brush. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to click apply it to all and tell it to put them all in here. All right. So now I have all these. The first one was this China for like a China brush. And so we can get some really interesting effects from it in here. Okay. So now I've got those in there. I've got my grass brush in here. One of my favorites. As you can just kind of play around with it. All right. Um, I've got my grunge watercolor brush in here, so it can give you some interesting looks and build up of texture. See how it's starting to build up that paint. So, all right, so those are in there. I've got my um, mountain brush and the way it's set up, the salty. So if I want to have this kind of throw in some spatters, I can. And I can even push four and smear it around and get some really cool effects. All right. So I've got all those in there. I've got my rough brush, my oil short brush. Um, like this. So these give you some interesting stuff. And then you can go ahead and play with the brush creator. But anyway, my point is, is that you just import them in just easily like that. So... Now I can come over here. I'm going to click on the watercolor brush. And I'm going to make a new one. So add group. My brushes. I've got it selected. And I'm going to go to import brush preset. Again, it's going to by default go to the uh, where Rebel 8 is installed. Come up here to the assets. I'm going to come back to this. And I'm going to take all these, again, Control A, open. It's asking the same thing. You know, hey, that's a royal, that's an oil brush. Do you want that in here? Yep, I sure do. So I'm going to tell it to put all these in here. So now I can have a lot more interesting effects. I can change up the water. I can change up the opacity. And with these brushes... I can get some neat looking stuff because I did play around with it. 
can see. So I can like lower the stuff here. And it just gives you an interesting different mark to get. So don't be afraid to move these around. I designed was originally with something else in mind. I designed them to have like, hey, I want this to be an oil brush. Hey, I want this to be a watercolor brush. But then I started playing around with them too. And I was like, oh, you know what? Actually, this works really well as a watercolor brush. Oh, this works really well as an express oil brush. But see, I can come in here and play around with the colors. And really just kind of, um, you know, let it dictate what it is. So anyway, my point is, is don't be afraid to move these around. Okay, uh, definitely play around with where you've got them. And then once you've got them in here, use these as a foundation to really kind of start building up how you want to play around with these other brushes. Okay. This one works really good for like smudging stuff around. You can make some really cool trees quickly, especially in the distance. If you want kind of that grungy tree look. If you want a winter scene, you just kind of thin it out. So anyway. All right. So as you can see, not a real difficult thing to do to try and bring these in. What I love about this is, is that these brushes can just go up in size. You know, this is 100% right here. I can bring that water down and then just kind of let them play around. Just like that. make some really cool clouds. So anyway, play around with them, load them in there. Not a hard thing to do. Don't worry about, oh, this one's an oil brush and I got to go brush by brush and move them in there. Just throw them all in there. I would suggest putting them into, uh, like I did here with my brushes, and maybe take all the brushes and dump them in to that uh, group in each one so it's a little bit easier. And then from there, all you got to do, if there's some that you really like, just right click on it and you can, um, oh, here, wait a minute, let me move this up a little bit. So if you right click, you can then play around with it in here to add or move them around, or you can just copy it to your favorites. So if there's one that you really like, just click copy to favorites and do that. So like, I love this brush here, so I'm going to copy it to favorites. And there it is right there. This also will remember your recent. So there's all the ones I just used. So if you have some of these in here that you're using a lot, then you can just move them over to favorite. Okay. And you can just copy it to favorites from here too. And that'll move it from here to there. All right. So we can clear recent brushes. Do you want to clear recent brushes? Why, yes, I do. And now I can grab this and look, it'll show up over here as soon as I use it. Ta-da! Then if I use a lot of these, and I'm like, oh, what was my brush? Then I go back to that recent brush, and I just select it and bring it over. Okay. All right. So I really hope this helps answer those questions about it, what people keep saying. They keep getting, I know someone was saying that they were getting errors. Uh, and I think that was just that version of Rebel 8, uh, the early launch version that was having problems. Because I, I never had any problems with it. So... Um, it may have just been the system, something in it that wasn't doing it. If you have that, reach out to Escape Motions. I can try and troubleshoot a little bit, but um, I would reach out to them on their forums. They're very open on their forums and very uh, helpful. But anyway, now that Rebel Pro 8 full version is launched, I'm going to start playing around this morning. I'm actually going to start working on some new brushes and stuff for that uh, so that people that have my full brush set, you'll get these brushes too. Okay. All right. Um, as always, I appreciate you and just let me know what questions you have and I'll see you on the next one.